I love the cast of this movie. They made the characters that Alex and I created just come to life in ways we never even thought that it, they could. We had a tight schedule, we needed to move fast, so we needed actors that could deliver, and our cast did exactly that. I'm here because your mother couldn't handle you anymore. Do you get that? Do you get it? We saw a lot of talented young actors for the role of Danny Kruger, but uh, when Joe Cross came in... We were looking at him and he sat down and he gave his audition and he literally took the air out of the room. I remember after he read the father-son monologue, we were all completely speechless. Everybody was like, just quiet. He really blew us away. We looked at each other and said, we found Danny Kruger. It's better that I wasn't there for the last few years. It wasn't pretty. And you just hate me even more. I didn't hate you. I never hated you. But, you know, a visit every once in a while would have been nice. Brando Eaton. The guy came in and he was Jay Kendall. In, in these teen action movies, the villain's always very one-dimensional. And when Brando walked in, he gave it a kind of almost like an endearing kind of goofiness to the, to the character of Jake that, that wasn't there, and you somehow felt for him in a way that, that wasn't on the page. He's so likable that he makes a perfect bad guy because you know it's like you, you hate him, but at the same time, you kind of want to be friends with him. And uh, I like that about him. Got a few hours before the bars close and you have to scoop your old man off the floor. <laughs> that is why you moved here, right? To be your dad's personal dial a ride? <laughs> Nicole Badan, she, she was great. You know, she's just 18 years old. She brought this youthful energy to it. This is, I believe, the second movie that she's been a, a lead actress in. I think the whole uh, audience will like her. Do you want to go for a drive? Yeah. John Piper Ferguson, you know, we're just flat out lucky to have him. You better not catch a street racing again. I haven't been. Who do you think you're talking to? And he really did like driving the cars a lot. He was cruising, actually showed him how to race the Buick, his specific car in the movie, the Red Grand National. And they were showing him how to launch off the trans brake and all these really cool stuff. So Mr. Ferguson got a kick out of the car. So. You finally getting that temper under control. It ain't easy with that kid testing it every other day. I just hope I can keep him out of trouble, you know? Moving down the line of the casting, you know, we had Spencer Breslin and uh, Whitmer. They're, they're funny, they're like this comic relief, and uh, Whitmer would keep bringing his, you know, little lines here, little lines there that were just funny when he walks into the, uh, the, the pool scene in the backyard. There's a pool. Should have done crunches. <laughs> Eric King is Mr. Briggs. I'm gonna tell you candy asses right now, this is not some fluff elective you'll be able to jerk your way through. Perfectly cast. Uh, great chemistry with Brando, and he had worked with Joe Cross when Joe was a little kid. Ignore them. Your dad was one hell of a racer. And for Clinton Sanchez, uh, Jay Kendall's friends, you had Michael Esparza playing Sanchez, you had Eric Swords playing Clinton, and they were just those right guys. What do we have here? Don't be shy, Cooper. Come and say hello. 